10 Things You Should Never Say To A Girl Have you familiarized yourself with the crucial list of things never to say to a woman? It's imperative to commit them to memory, as seemingly innocuous remarks may have a profound impact and potentially hurt her. Mastering the art of conversation with women is pivotal in attracting and impressing them, as well as cultivating meaningful connections. Taking a brief moment to acquire this skill is a valuable investment of your time. Ready to delve into the 10 things you should always avoid saying to a girl. 10 things you should never say to a girl. Today's video focuses on 10 things you should absolutely refrain from saying to a girl, ever. Have you ever found yourself earnestly attempting to impress a woman, only to witness your efforts go awry? This is precisely why it's crucial to be aware of these pitfalls. What might seem like a compliment to you could have the opposite effect on her. In this video, I'll be discussing these 10 pitfalls in detail, with particular emphasis on the last one, which is absolutely essential to avoid at all costs. Be sure to pay close attention. Are you ready to discover what phrases to steer clear of when interacting with a woman, so you can instead leave a positive impression and attract her? Let's dive in. 1. Don't use pet names. First and foremost, refrain from using pet names unless you are in a relationship. Many guys believe that terms like sweetie, honey, cutie, and baby are endearing, right? Well, the truth is, they are charming when used within the context of a romantic relationship. If you're not in a relationship with the woman, using pet names can instantly make her uncomfortable, leading her to think, whoa, he wants something from me. What's wrong with him, and causing her to pull away? In a committed relationship, using pet names can be sweet and endearing, as long as it aligns with her comfort level. This is evident in movies and songs that often feature such expressions. However, if you're not in a relationship with her, employing pet names may give the impression that you're assuming a level of closeness that doesn't exist, and this can be unsettling for her. Therefore, it's advisable to avoid using any pet names unless you are in a committed relationship. 2. Don't give her your number. Moving on to the second point, and while you might have heard me emphasize this before, its significance warrants repetition, never utter phrases like, here's my number, text me or, here's my number, call me. Understanding a fundamental aspect about women is crucial here, women are inherently wired to appreciate and respond to pursuit. To be perceived as a man in her eyes, you must conduct yourself accordingly and actively pursue her. Acting like a mature man, rather than a teenage boy, is essential if you want her to see you as such. Taking the initiative to ask for her number and being the one to initiate text messages and calls is key. A common mistake many guys make is offering their number and wondering why she doesn't take the follow-up step. The reason is rooted in how women are designed, they yearn to be pursued. As she has transitioned from a teenage girl to a woman, expecting her to make the first move is counterintuitive. Therefore, to present yourself as a confident man, it's crucial to take charge of the pursuit. Ultimately, don't you desire the confidence to actively pursue? It's a significant aspect of fulfilling your role as a man. In summary, never resort to saying, here's my number, text me. Always take the initiative to ask for her number. 3. Don't point attention to her body. Moving on to the third point, if you've watched my previous video on how to avoid coming off as creepy, you'll recognize this advice. I want to be straightforward with you, and it's a bit challenging to convey this tactfully. Avoid directing inappropriate attention towards her, such as commenting on specific physical attributes like saying, oh my goodness, your legs are super hot. Simply put, refrain from making such remarks altogether. It's crucial for her to feel seen and valued as a person, not merely as a physical object. Expressing admiration for her physical attributes can be appropriate when you're in a committed relationship or married. However, in the early stages of getting to know her and during the initial phases of dating, it's important to steer clear of such comments. Instead of sounding like a compliment, it tends to make her uncomfortable and gives the impression that you don't genuinely care about her. While it may be endearing and welcomed later in a relationship, for now, it tends to evoke feelings of unease. I hope I've conveyed this point tactfully, perhaps deserving some brownie points for that. 4. Don't say she reminds you of someone. The fourth point is quite impactful, guys, and it involves saying something like, oh, you remind me of my mom, or, you remind me of my sister. When you utter these words, it's as if a part of her just crumbles inside. As a general rule, it's advisable to avoid comparing her to anyone else, but particularly to family members. Doing so creates an impression of being relegated to the friend zone, signaling a lack of genuine interest. This not only leaves her feeling crushed but also prompts her to move on. 
So, it's crucial to steer clear of any comparisons to your mom, sister, or anyone else in that realm. Ever. 5. Don't say belittling or unkind things. Let's continue exploring the list of 10 things you should avoid saying to a girl. Coming in at number 5 is refraining from uttering anything belittling or potentially hurtful. While this may seem like common sense, it's worth elaborating a bit. In our current era, there's a prevailing notion that playing hard to get, adopting a cold demeanor, or acting aloof can somehow make a person more desirable or prompt them to chase you. However, the reality is that such behavior can be hurtful, especially to a woman who genuinely seeks a loving and authentic connection. While this approach might attract the attention of toxic individuals who thrive on drama, it's not the ideal strategy for those seeking a healthy, loving relationship. For someone who desires sincere love and mutual understanding, employing tactics that cause hurt or distance is counterproductive. It's essential to avoid anything hurtful or unkind because, in truth, it's not a constructive or beneficial approach. 6. Don't compare her to your ex. Moving on to the sixth point, avoid comparing her to your ex in any manner. Refrain from statements like, oh, my ex used to do that, hey, you remind me of my ex, or, you look a bit like my ex, just don't. This is a surefire way to ensure she never engages in conversation with you again. 7. Don't talk about her food. 7th on the list, avoid comments like, are you gonna eat that much, or, are you sure you should eat that? Steer clear of discussing anything she's eating. Doing so can make her feel judged and create an atmosphere where she doesn't feel comfortable being herself around you. Exercise caution in this area, as it can be a potentially sensitive topic. Refrain from making remarks about her eating habits or the quantity of food she consumes. 8. Don't invalidate how she's feeling. Let's delve into number 8. If she comes to you and opens up about how she's feeling, perhaps sharing a challenging day at work, it's crucial not to respond with dismissive statements like, it's not that big of a deal, or, I don't know why you're upset. As humans, we inherently seek validation. Reassurance that our feelings and opinions matter is a fundamental need. Never make her feel like she can't confide in you. Instead, respond empathetically by saying something like, wow, I can see why that would upset you. I'm sorry that happened. This supportive approach can make you her hero in that moment. On the contrary, downplaying her emotions with comments like, it's not a big deal, can be emotionally crushing and may lead her to reconsider your role in her life. Of course, there might be exceptions if she exhibits excessive neediness or gossipy behavior, but attracting toxic individuals is not the focus here. Validate her feelings, make her feel special to you, and show that you value what she has to say. 9. Don't say another woman is hot. Ninth on the list, and this one is a personal pet peeve of mine, never express to her that you find another woman attractive. Just avoid doing that altogether. This is a surefire way to breed resentment and animosity. Similar to how you wouldn't appreciate it if she remarked, oh hey, your friend is super hot, she doesn't want to hear about anyone else in your life or celebrities whom you find attractive. Sharing such thoughts is a quick route to crushing her and eroding the trust she has in you. So, it's best to refrain from making such statements. 10. Don't ask if she lost weight. And now, we've arrived at number 10, which happens to be one of the most precarious points, guys. I cannot emphasize this enough, never utter this phrase under any circumstances. Even if you're in a serious relationship or married, steer clear of saying, have you lost weight? While it may seem like a compliment, the impact on women is quite different. What a woman hears in a statement is, whoa, I must have looked so bad before for him to notice this, leading to a sense of embarrassment and feeling crushed. Moreover, there's the possibility that she hasn't lost weight, a scenario more common than one might think. In such cases, if someone asks, have you lost weight, when she hasn't, she might interpret it as, do I look terrible all the time? Is this the only time I don't appear overweight? This can be particularly crushing, especially in today's society, which unfortunately places excessive emphasis on body weight. It's essential to steer clear of discussing her weight, including comments about how her clothes fit. I strongly recommend committing these points to memory. These are the things you should absolutely avoid saying. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.